Okay, darling, why don't we put our presents under the tree next to each other, all right? So wait a minute. That isn't fair. I know I can't see, but don't I at least get to shake it? Oh, uh -huh. I don't know. Can he shake it? I guess so, yeah. You sure? Is it solid enough? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You may shake it, but very gently, on, on the condition, however, that I can rattle mine. It's a big box. Mm. That's heavy, honey. Mm. Thank you. Well, I can feel something thumping around in there, but I don't have any idea what it is. There's movement in here, but it's so light. Mm, diamonds don't weigh that much, Vicky. Oh, it's a box of diamonds! <laughs> Thank you, darling. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's put them under the tree. Kevin, you take that one. Here, sweetheart, I'm gonna take it from you and put it under the tree. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna light the fire. Where's Joey? Oh, secret wrapping activities. Oh, okay. Oh, Kim, would you, uh, check on Jessica? Sure. I'll go upstairs and see if uh, she's awake now. Mm. And Sarah, how about punching up the stereo? We need some Christmas music around here. Oh, okay. that's a good idea. Okay. Oh. I'm ready. Good. Mom, what are you doing? I'm gonna light the fire, honey. But what about Santa Claus? <laughs> Uh, honey, this fire is only going to burn for a few hours. By the time Santa comes, uh, the fire will be out and the fireplace will be all cold. But it'll get all dirty. <laughs> Santa Claus is used to dirty chimneys, Joey. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Tell you what. We could, um, have a special favor present for Joey today and not light the fire. What would you think about that, huh? Please? Okay, okay. Come on over here, son. There's room for you, too. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Now, all we need is... Big no, I'll get that. I will help you. Be right back, guys. Sarah. What? I just wanted to have a minute alone with you uh, to talk to you about something without alerting Clint. What is it? Well, I wanted to tell you about this special gift that I'm giving Clint, and then I want to ask you uh, kind of a special question. Dad, Cortina and Max are not going to spend Christmas with us? Well, it looks that way, son, but I sure wish we'd get a call. Hey, look, just trying to get a little fresh air, right? Up front, but that doesn't mean that there's none anymore. I, I saw one outside the window, so let's figure four. I mean, they'd assume two apiece is enough, right? Man, I wish we had brought some weapons with us. What we gotta do is figure out a way that we can overpower these guys, or at least slip past them. I can't believe we're stupid enough Latino waltz out of here. Thanks, uh, I got a good feeling about the chief, though, Max. But uh, I, I don't want to trace Tina's safety to, to my instincts. We may end up saving the baby and Tina. Lord, the chief never said he had your son, or even that Milagro existed. Well, I guess the only way we're going to find out for sure is to find that village. You see? There is nothing to be afraid of in here. You know it. As I explained to you, no harm will come to you or your friends if I see you are no threat to my village and our treasures. But I just want Milagro, I swear. We shall see. Cami, give the drink to our visitors. The, the drink? A truth serum. I just want to see my baby. I just want to hold my baby, that's all. You will drink this, and then we shall speak of the miracle child.
I can't wait. Tell me what you got, Clint, for Christmas. I am planning to move the entire family to Arizona. That is a terrific idea. How long is the visit going to be? Uh, it's not a visit. Permanent. Permanent? Mm -hmm. He doesn't know about this yet, does he? No. He hasn't died a clue, so it's going to be a very complete and happy surprise. Are you sure this is what he wants? Yes. Yes. He really does want it. I mean, he hasn't pushed for it at all because he thinks it would be too much of a sacrifice for the whole family to make, but I know he wants it. Anyway, my question is, would you be willing to come with us for the first couple of months at least until we get settled and until, well, until he gets accustomed to the ranch? Gee, I, I really hardly... Have... I'm sorry. I don't mean to pressure you. You take your time and you think about it, okay? You look a lot more than unsure. You look down on unhappy. No, actually, it's just shock. Uh... Maybe we ought to wait till you and Clint both get your Christmas presents. Come on, Dad. We give up. What did you get, Mom? Oh, no. If you can't guess, I can't tell you. You're just gonna have to wait. We know what she's getting you. Joe, don't blow it. I'm not. Merry Christmas! Ho, 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 ho! Hi, Hi boys. Hi. Clint? Hi. Oh, boy, am I glad you're here. Are you glad to see us, cowboy? For the gifts we're bearing. Both. <laughs> Atta boy, you're smart. Oh, wait, uh, Renee, I'm glad you're here. I was wondering about you. Oh, too. come on, guys. Let's put this under the tree, okay? okay. Come on. Uh, we would have been here a lot earlier. Only Renee had me wrapping gifts and my fingers fell off. <laughs> Remember the good old days, Clint, when you just handed out money. Yeah. Put a woman in your life. And she takes over your life and you've never been happy. Uh, that's true, that's true. Why don't we all sit down, get comfortable, and have some eggnog, okay? Spiked, I hope. Oh, Asa, spike your own from the bar. Pa, we're gonna have a, a big uh, Mexican feed for supper. That ought to brighten up your Christmas Eve, shouldn't it? Not mine. Juan and Renee talk me into serving soup to the homeless at the Heavenly Bash tonight. Uh, not soup, it's turkey and all the trimmings. Whatever. Sweetheart? Renee. You may think I'm Scrooge. I'm not going to do it. I cancel out as of right now. Thank you for coming. And have a nice time. And be warm. And have a nice holiday. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. So nice to see you. And you too, dear boy. I meet my partner, Wanda. Oh, never mind about her. How dare you be a dick successful and leave me oh. behind? Still there. You always said you were taking me with you. I, I did. Oh, hi. Hi. Well, how are you? Good, good. My mile and crew is going to take off real soon. Oh. Where's the food? Oh, the food is right here, darling. Please help yourself. Have anything that you'd like. Enjoy yourself. Oh. Dear, that poor child, she is so young. Drugs blew her mind away already. Oh, and what about that, that Adele? Is that your ex-girlfriend? Wanda, please. I don't go around breaking hearts or making promises I can't keep. I don't suppose you do. Adele was married to a very wealthy man who committed suicide. Between his death and the family squabble over money, she had a nervous breakdown. So her kids put her in a home, but, but she ran away. No one knows her last name or where she's from. The only thing she's kept from her past is her illusion of grandeur. Excuse me. Possibly. John, this is crazy. Yes, it certainly is. Rob has nothing to do with our problems. And neither does a baby that you were never carrying. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't pregnant, huh? You know, you can't keep quiet about anything. You talk about everything. Yet the fact that your ex-husband was here in town just managed to slip your mind, huh? Do you want to break up with me? Is that why you're pushing this issue? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. It was the night before Christmas, and a couple are arguing loud enough to ruin a good time had by all others. Well, there's nothing more to say, so don't worry about it. Well, it's time to bring the turkeys out. Wanda. Oh, 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 happy, happy holidays. Are you here? Are you here for a meal, or are you here to help? <laughs> Both. Cassie said she'd be here, and since she's my family, I'm here, too. Oh, nice. Hello, Gilbert. Oh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Callison. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, Dick, welcome. Good evening, Gilbert. Uh, meet Wanda. <laughs> very, very nice to meet you. Welcome. Look, I'm not like these people. I will pay you back for all this. I really will. Next 
week, huh? Oh, any time, Dickie, any time. Get yourself in the pool. Oh, I don't know who he is. No one does. He keeps saying he'll pull himself together, but... Uh, oh, dear, the stories that have fallen into this restaurant, it could break your heart. Dad. Just one little... Hey! Well, my girl, hi. Hi. Boy, am I happy to see someone who smiles and loves me. What's the matter? Don't ask. Okay, could we have a little stuffing in the bowls, please, if you would? Well, Merry Christmas, John. You here to help her? Sure. In here. What's the message? Stuff it. The message is... Bah humbug. Wanda, quick. Quick what? Before we get so busy, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, it's Charlie Smith. Oh, my God, I'm glad his name is Charlie. Well, what's wrong, Wanda? I, just, I thought it was a Christmas miracle. No, I am not going to drink this. If you just give me my baby and you put him in my arms, you'll see I'm telling you the truth. I cannot trust you without a test. This is your test. You must drink this. Your father gave me something to drink that healed me, and I know he must have given my baby something, too. And I trusted him. You can do the same with me. Our tribe has lost too much being kind and taking the words of strangers. There is nothing to fear. And I will show you that you have nothing to fear from us. Pass, and then we will see the truth or the lie. Okay, Sammy. One, two, three. Hey, <laughs> not bad, huh? In fact, I'd say we did a real good job decorating this baby. Presents? Oh yeah, sure. Why don't we open one now and save the rest for the morning, uh, plus the ones that Santa brings for you. A new bike? Mm, I never can tell. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see this. Oh, here we go. Here's one with your name on it. That one. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. To Daddy from... From Mommy. Aunt Wanda and I got it. Mommy would want you to get a Christmas present from her. Yeah, sure she would. As a matter of fact, you know, there's, there's one here for you. Yeah, it's from Mommy, too. She must have got a little while ago. We need a hug, don't we? Baby. Oh, I love you, little girl. Oh, wait a Oh, hey. It's your friend Stacy, Sammy. Yeah. Is it a nice surprise? Hey, Sammy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, honey. Whoa, honey, look at that. This is from all the officers at the precinct who work for your dad. Wow. That's terrific. Come on in. There you go, honey. Ah. I bet you've never seen a bear that big before, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Her name is Bonnie. Bonnie Bear. Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, honey, why don't you take Bonnie Bear into your bedroom and introduce her to the rest of your animals? Okay. Thank you, Stacy. Sure. To your Dono, I don't know what to say. Obviously, you hit everybody up to chip in for this. Everyone wanted to. We know it's a hard Christmas for Sammy. And you. Uh, this is for you, just from me. It's not much. I, I don't have anything for you. I didn't expect you would. It's okay, it's not a bribe or anything. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Oh, hey. Hey, I love it. Hey, I can use this. Good. Uh, well, Jenkins has the car running outside. I'm on duty tonight. Um, what are you and Sammy doing? Uh, nothing. We're just going to open up some presents. Not spending the evening with the family? Well, we're in...
invited over to my cousin's, but... Then uh, what the hell are you doing here? I'm sorry, sir, but if ever a man and his daughter needed to be with family who love them, you... It's you two. Um, I'm not sure I can carry it off, and I don't want to bring everybody down. Or maybe they'll bring you up. And Sammy would sure have more fun, wouldn't she? Not that I'm giving you advice. No, of course not. I may just take your advice. Sammy? Yes, Daddy? Sweetheart, how would you like to go play with Joey and Kevin and Jessica tonight? Yeah. All right. Great. And then you'll come home and go to bed, and when you wake up, Santa will have come with your presents. What do you want him to bring you? A bike. Mm hmm And Mommy. Chief Molino. I thought you left the jungle. No, no. I stayed to keep a watch out for the three Americans. You haven't seen them. Maybe. Maybe. Now, does that mean yes or no? You said you would cooperate. I will cooperate if they are treasure hunters. If they are not, it is not your business. Well, obviously, they have contacted you. Did they ask about Milagro? Why do you care? I don't want you to hand him over to them. Before you speak of them as thieves. But now you don't speak of that no more. You worry too much about them and Milagro. I just don't want them to gain your faith. I have problems of faith with you, Inspector. You will kindly leave my village. I will get a runner to look for the police if I need them. Very good. Time has come to strike. Maybe we need some of this furniture for weapons. Yeah, this chair looks pretty solid. I bet we can take out one, maybe two with that. God, I got a pocket knife. Matches from the hotel. Cord, cord. This could do the trick. This could help us get out of here and get to Tina. The game is over. So this is your secret admirer. And the lying is done. Rick is not my lover. He's my son. But Gwen's nightmare has just begun. Get out of my sight, Gwyneth. Loving weekdays. The new daytime show that appreciates you. Helpful hints, inventive solutions, everything practical, useful, entertaining, and fun. Designed with you in mind. Home, beginning January 18th. Oh, uh, Mom, what? can we play with our racer set now? Don't you guys want to stick around till I give Dad the gift? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a gift again. I'm getting intrigued. Oh, sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I really hate to do this, but we're late, so we, I think we really have to go now. Oh. Didn't you hear me say I canceled out? Well, I know, but we've got all those sweaters in the car to give out. We promised Wanda and Gilbert. Well, why don't you go now and help out, pass out the gifts, and then come on back? That's a good idea. We'll just hold dinner for you. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's better. Come on, Renee. We're off and running. Okay. Don't bother any goodbyes. We'll be right back. Uh, hey, yeah, we heard something about a party going on here. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey, oh, I'm so glad you uh, came. Hi, you sweetheart. Mercy. Great. Uh, Renee and I have a little air in the mercy, but we'll be right back. I want you to stay. I want to talk to my favorite nephew and my, my great niece, all right? Well, we'll wait till you get back or until Sammy's ready to go to sleep, whichever comes first. Bye, bye. 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 And I really think you should give Vicky her present now. Why do you sound so urgent? I'm, I'm not urgent. Oh, come on. Just do it, okay? All right. Sure. Ruby, where did you get the bear? Great. <laughs> well, actually, Stacy Giordano dropped it off. It's from the other officers. Isn't that great? That's incredibly sweet of them. Yeah. Um, Mom, yes, can we give Dad his gift now? Sure, I don't see why not. You're just in time. Okay. Clint? Yeah, sweetheart, I think it's about time you open your gift. I was just about to say the same thing to you. Oh, no, you first. All right, I'll go first. I don't care. <laughs> Honey, would you get it for me, huh? Sure. Excuse me. Thank you, darling. Okie dokie. Oh, Kevin, put that up there. Then. Thank you, hon. Okay, here we go. I'm taking the top off. Hmm. Opening the tissue paper. I have it opened, and I see that it is... What is it? It's a symbolic gift. The real thing will be installed in the study in a, in a few weeks. It's a computer with a synthetic voice device, honey. Reporters can type their copy onto disks, and then I can command the computer to play it back, which means I can edit copy. 
And I can write copy and hear it played back. My goodness. Yes, and what that means is that we can have an office right here for the two of us. And I can take a lot of the responsibility for the paper and take a lot of the load off of you. Well, I think that's terrific, isn't it? Uh-oh, Mom. What does that mean? Uh-oh, Mom. Um, before we explain uh-oh, Mom, to you, I think you better open your present, uh -oh. okay? Uh, just <laughs> hold on that. one second. Kevin, I tell you what, let's get it out of the box and give it to Dad. Like this. You guys, go ahead and give it to him. Here you go, Dad. Well, what is it? It doesn't, uh... <laughs> it doesn't ring any bells. It's our ranch. You're making me a gift of our ranch? Uh, what does that mean? It means that I've made arrangements for us to move to the ranch permanently. <laughs>